Lauren. So that was a very unfortunate ending to the season last night for the Lincoln Stars. But for me, that means I have the rest of my spring to get done planting. Gary spent the day after I left yesterday to uh, getting the cable put back together. We did a little bit of soldering. Uh, the cable being the magic one that I destroyed by backing the tractor into it. I think today we probably are going to be able to get out and do some planting. We have a little bit of potential for rain on the horizon. It's been so dry though it might just blow through and not get anything. Which, you know, it'd be good to get rain but it would also be nice to get seeds in the ground. It's actually a nice day out today. It's gonna to be windy, but it's warm. We're in shorts again. Well, apparently he put that cable back together, but it, uh, I don't know, he's still having some sort of issue. One wire doesn't wanna connect or something. He said it was planting all right physically, but we still need the monitor to work. Oh, there's a big bird flying over there. He's gonna try and fix that cable, and hopefully if that works, then we should be able to uh, Go ahead and start planting. Once we made the decision to go back to setting the planter up the way it originally was last year, because none of our stuff would get here in time, all of our stuff gets here. The day we're gonna start. Well, he thinks he might have it figured out, hopefully. I don't know, it's just one of those jobs your last thing you need is another person poking and saying, what's that, well, how about that? He was just doing it, which is fine because I'm not good with electronics. He lifted it up. We'll see what happened there. Well, I wonder what color of seeds we have this year. Pretty good so far. Go out here and do a little digging in the ground, see what uh, what it looks like. I didn't show you the start because I always feel like I gotta get readjusted. Figure out your speed, get everything set. There's just too much to going on when we first start each year to really be monkeying around with a camera. Everything seemed like it was going along pretty good, but then this. We had a bolt that snapped in the end there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this by myself here. It's always something getting started. All right, let's go see how many seeds we got left in there. Steel that go this way, and they hinge like this. Well, 
what holds these two together, there's a little gap in there where a bolt goes through. Unfortunately, the bolt is almost fits in the whole gap, so it doesn't give you enough room to actually put the thing in. Uh, it's, we've had issues with it in the past, and it is a complete pain in the ass. Things are going well, though. Fingers crossed. Probably just jinxed it. You know, I just said everything was going good, and I might have jinxed it. Well, it turns out it's not really that big of a deal. But I started dragging some stuff, and I wanted to clear it, so we don't continue to drag stuff. It doesn't usually happen in soybeans, but let's go take a look. Hopefully something's not broken. Let's see. Get that and then I won't clamp through it. Just make sure everything's turning. And it's not wanting to turn. That's turning right. That one's not. Let's see why that's not turning. Well, it's that one. And... Bearing go out or something here. That was a stupid move. Well, it would seem that was a bearing in there. I couldn't get a really good look at it because it's blowing dirt in my eyes, but um, it didn't seem to be packed with anything and it's not one to turn. I called Gary, he's gonna come out here in a few minutes with a, uh, hopefully, I think we have a new bearing in the shop that we can just switch one out. brought out a new getter for me and he's gonna take that old woman I suppose and fix the bearing we got one it's a little bit different style and uh, a little older but it's turning which is all we needed to do went home let Morgan out in the meantime and now we're just driving back to where everything went it is starting to cloud up out here so I'm really kind of hoping that I can finish this field today and they'll just be done. But that's that might just be wishful thinking. Alright. This is where we were at. So line up. Shouldn't have said a thing about it, everything working just fine. The bolt that's in there can't really come out. Every time I take a break and go home and let the dog out, as soon as I come back, something breaks immediately. I didn't even get to the point where we could start planting in this damn pin. Okay, this is stupid. I'm gonna show you this. Whoever designed this should be shot. What we have is this situation. This needs to go through this piece of metal and both of these pieces of metal. However, when those are there, there is not physically enough room to get in there. There is not even enough room to get in there by itself and get to the hole. You can get there that way, but once one of these is there, there's there's no way to do it. Why wouldn't you just build it a little, just a hair wider so you could jam this stupid thing in there? Eh, Gary's bringing some stuff. 
totally lost my cool. Sorry, it's been known to happen. Anyway, we're fixed and we should be able to go. I feel like I'm directing an airplane. All right, let's plant. Marker is marking. Planty things are planting. Turny things are turning. Good to go. Let's speed up. So this tractor has this weird deal. Ever since we got it, it's uh, got this fuel issue that doesn't we don't really know what it is. I don't know if it's a heat related thing, like we've been working it too hard. All the gauges and controls say that we're not, but on uh, days that it's hot, for some reason, we do lose power. I usually just, you know, we end up idling it down, let it sit for five minutes, maybe shut it off, and then start it up. I don't know if it resets the brain or what, but it seems to just keep on going thereafter. It usually happens once or twice a year, but, don't really know the exact cause of it. I don't know if you're a John Deere person and you know what that is. Let me know. Kind of racing the weather here. I think there's not much left. I think I'm actually going to make it. Make sure I have my marker arm down. That would suck. I think we're going to make it though. It's still pretty cloudy out there, but uh, I don't know. I think we'll do good. Well, we did it. First field down. First field down. We beat the rain. Now we just got to get it in the shed. Oh, looks like you got the sprayer out of here. Just in time, just starting to feel rain. Put it in the shed and see what happens.